Ten on your side is your local election headquarters. Tomorrow is the last day of in-person early voting for the June primary. Your next and final chance to cast your ballot is Tuesday, June 20th. One of the big races is for State Senate District 18. It's a showdown between Senate President Pro Tempore Louise Lucas and another longtime legislator, Senator Lionel Spruill. They're campaigning heavily with some powerful ads. Andy Fox is on your side to find out how truthful the ads are. State Senator Lionel Spruill's ad begins. There she goes again, Louise Lucas in her Hummer. That is false. That is not Louise Lucas's Hummer and not her license plate. Lucas tried to get $13 million in tax breaks for one of her businesses. Lucas says that's true. That is true. Now, let me tell you why. It stems from efforts to build a conference center where the newly built Rivers Casino now stands. There were over 300 African Americans who came together to pool their money because we wanted to build a conference center. Everybody started investing, and then as it started to grow, other people said, well, we want to invest in it too because we want to be a part of something that black people own in the city of Portsmouth. It was going to be that conference center. An investigation found she broke the law. That is true. The company failed to properly register with the State Corporation Commission. The State Corporation Corporation Commission alleged that you violated the state securities law by the was it an oversight on your part? It might have been oversight on part of my project director, but that's that's possible. But all I'm saying to you is that this is a project that was not a Louise Lucas industry. You admit that you did not dot the I's and cross the T's well enough, and that's what led to this. Well, issue. I had a project manager who was responsible for all of that, and it's possible that all of the I's weren't dot and all the T's weren't crossed and forced Lucas to pay back $2 million. That is true. Every penny paid back. So the reason I paid back the $2 million to all of the investors with interest is because the city council just did not approve the project. During the interview, Lucas did not run from the facts, but embraced them, that the goal of the project was African-American ownership. Here's Lucas's ad against Spruill. In this corner, Lionel Spruill. Spruill votes with Republicans against gun safety laws. And Spruill backed an anti-choice bill. In a statement to us, Spruill wrote, I am pro-choice and I have always voted for common sense gun laws. I was endorsed by Repo Rising. I am 100% in favor of reproductive rights for women in this commonwealth. That was 10 on your side's Andy Fox. Again, Senator Sproul refused to appear for this report.